Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday, and it's uh, raining. Can't really see nothing, but um, we got a few things going on today. Uh, I wanted to make a hair tutorial for you guys, so we're going to start with that. I'm going to shower first because I'm going to Waffle House with a buddy. Um, I haven't been to Waffle House in so long, so I'm going to go see if the food is still good. So... <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to get ready and then we'll get into that uh, since a lot of people have been asking me what I do with my hair, how do I do it, that kind of thing, how do I maintain it, especially because I'm growing it out right now. So anyway, I'll go into that. All right, so I showered and uh, I didn't actually do anything to my hair other than wet it. Um, because I did not go to the gym today. Today's like the first day in forever that I'm taking a day off. Uh, and just don't mind the angle. I just don't have the tripod with me right now. But I should probably put on clothes because or else someone's going to say I have a lot of trust in this towel, which I do because I wrap it real well. But um, let me put on some clothes and I'll finish what I was saying. Okay, so I have pants on now. Um, so basically what I was saying is I haven't gone to the gym in a while. Uh, <laughs> Let me start over. My brain is somewhere else. So basically, today's the first day off from the gym, right? Um, and there's a reason for that. I wouldn't. I would still be at the gym right now, but because because of the fact that I'm getting work done on my tattoo, which I haven't mentioned anywhere else about this, uh, just because I didn't I didn't really want to bring it up. I didn't feel like I needed to tell people, but. I figured if you're going to be, you know, making a lot of videos here and there, it's going to be healing for a while. I might as well just tell you guys. So, um, yeah, basically I'm getting work done to it. Uh, I'm fixing it, correcting it, and it looks pretty ugly at the moment because it's a little scabby. That's the whole point. Um, so I'll just show you guys. But that's kind of what it looks like right now. Um, again, it's ugly at the moment, scabby. That's how it's supposed to be. Um, it's part of the healing process. So basically what I'm doing is a saline tattoo removal uh, and before people, I'm not taking off my whole tattoo, I love my tattoo, but there's just parts of it that I'm getting removed um, because the artist just <laughs> didn't do an amazing job the first time, which is kind of a pain in the ass. So yeah, uh, before anybody says that you know saline removal doesn't work or whatever and do t uh, laser tattoo removal. I have spent a lot of time researching and talking to people about different forms of removal for this specific tattoo, and because I was really dumb when I got it, uh, and I did, I put skin tone ink on my tattoo to try to cover up black ink, which <laughs> sounds stupid now. Uh, back then, it made sense to me. So I can't do laser tattoo removal with skin tone ink. It just it won't work. If anything, it'll make it worse. So. My only option is saline tattoo removal, which is a pretty good process. Um, this is my second treatment. I got my first one done maybe like four or five months ago. It took a few months to heal, uh, and it did lighten up a lot, which I was so thankful for because uh, I was very skeptical about it. But yeah, um, it's going to be another few months of healing, but I basically can't work out, get it wet for the next few days until it fully scabs, because um, then the ink is going to fall off with the scab. It's, it's like a whole thing, so let me know if you guys want to talk about that a little bit more in another video, but aside from that, we are dressed. I'm going to tuck this shirt in. I feel like this is... We're going for a little bit of an elegant vibe today, you know. <laughs> got to be elegant for Waffle House, right? <laughs> Alright, never mind. We got the tripod going, so now we have a better angle versus uh, that. So anyway, let's do this hair tutorial, um, and one piece of advice is don't shampoo your hair every day. I don't even condition my hair every day. I'll maybe condition one or two more times more than I would shampoo. So I shampoo maybe every couple days. I'll shampoo every other day. Um, so I just really try to keep it a little bit more of the essential oils that are naturally kind of being made in my hair. Um, now I do work out a lot. So I mean, some people might say, well, if you work out, you know, how are you supposed to you're supposed to rock it out with, uh, you know, dirty hair? And no, I mean, you can you can rinse it with water, hot, a little bit warmer water helps a good. It does a good job of like removing the, the sweat and all that gunky stuff that's in your hair. Um, conditioning it as well. I mean, you can condition every day. It's not that. It's really not bad for you to condition every day. I just prefer not to. 
shampooing is what you don't want to be doing every day. So first step of taking care of your hair um, and having good hair days is shampoo a little bit less. Okay, so the first step that I recommend is going in with a moisturizer or some kind of hair oil. Um, you can use argan oil. I personally, and I will link this one in the description. I don't want to use too much here. Uh, this is a hair moisturizer by Kraft. Uh, I've been using this brand for quite a long time now. All their products are really good, high quality, and yeah, it's just, it just, I've never used a product from them that uh, doesn't work well. So get that all over, make it nice and soft. That way our hair can feel really healthy. It also smells nice. And I can actually smell my hair now from my... Yeah, that, that was a little weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, step two. I'm going to fully dry my hair. Um, I'm not even going to use a brush, nothing. Just every direction possible just to make sure it's 100% dry. This is what has been working for me right now because I'm growing out my hair. I feel like the longer my hair gets, the I change how I do my hair a little bit here and there. So the last video, which was I don't know how long ago, it was a little bit different. So this is how I'm doing it now. This is what works for me. You can try it. If it doesn't work, there's plenty of other ways to get to the same result, okay? It's dry, and this is what happens when you dry your hair just in every single direction. You end up looking like Chewbacca. So, now you're probably wondering how do we get to the flowy, flowy hair that we all love and know. Um, I'm going to be using some sea salt spray. You can use any brand, although I do recommend, I'll have like a few different ones that I recommend, just because there's certain ones out there that will dry out your hair too much. So, uh, this one specifically, shout out to my boy Dylan. Uh, he sent me this one, it's called Clean Cut, it's a really good one, uh, and it works really well. So. I'm just going to spray this bad boy generously in my hair. Maybe get a little on the bottoms. Ooh. Okay. I think that's good. Alright, so just a decent amount, right? And here's what you do. You want to flip it out a little bit. And then, just kind of with your hands, slide it back. Alright? And then you're going to take your hair dryer one more time. Now it's slightly wet right now, not super wet. Take your hair dryer and you're just going to... Basically you're just re-drying it again, uh, but in the backwards direction. Um, Okay, so that is pretty much it. And you can see that my hair has a lot of volume. It looks... Oh, um. <laughs> it looks pretty good. Um, so that is how I do my hair. Now I would go in with some like, like a cream or um, you know something with a little bit of hold, but I haven't, I didn't shampoo my hair, so my hair still has a little bit of product from like yesterday, so I don't really need to. But yeah, my hair is super soft, thanks to that moisturizer. It looks really nice, it feels luscious, it's dry. Um, also, the reason why I dry my hair beforehand before applying any sea salt spray is because like, if I apply the sea salt spray when my hair is still a little bit wet, I've noticed that there's a lot of curling action 
in the sides of my hair, like especially here, it'll just like curl really, really hard. But it's like weird because it won't curl up here. It'll be relatively straight and then it'll just curl at the bottom. And I'm not a big fan of that. So that's why I dry it fully uh, before applying the sea salt. And I don't know, I just feel like it works better. So yeah, that is, that is, a, that is a hair tutorial right there. And also make sure to get your biotin. All right, there's pills for that. You can take it so many different ways. There's, they, they have it in conditioner, but biotin is good for your hair. If you're trying to grow out your hair, you want to maintain your hair, um, get biotin. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's go to let's go to the, the little Waffle House. <laughs> All right. Fit check. Anaconda boots. Dockers. Grandpa jacket. Bro, this light is doing justice now. I'm so glad I got the light. Cause now like, it doesn't matter where I am. I can get some good quality shots. Alright, Alex, show him a fit check. Fit check? Well dude, I'm not even done yet. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hold on, I gotta tell my shoes. Let me angle it down towards this man, that way you can see. Alright. Can they see you? Yeah. Yeah, they see me. <laughs> Alright, Converse. What kind of pants are those? They're just khakis. Khakis. Blue and shoes. Then <laughs> blue socks. Blue socks. Gray yeah. shirt. I was telling him that he's like uh, he's wearing like the uh, the the opposite as me because I got I got the brown you know brown belt brown brown jacket oh. brown uh, leather cowboy boots and then uh, he's gonna wear my trench coat so I'm wearing his coat he's gonna wear my coat. Oh my God, we're so much like twins. <laughs> Now we gotta take you through the Ashoni, the Alex Ashoni hairstyle tutorial. The tutorial? Yeah, okay, buddy. Yeah. All right, so what are you doing right now? Right now I'm just rubbing around in my moisturizer. Uh, it is. Oh, is from, that the same? Yeah, it's from Oh, it's Kraft. the same moisturizer! I got yeah. it, that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. Uh, hopefully the, the shipping isn't too crazy on them when I... Basically, I kind of go for young Albert Einstein vibes. Well, your hair looks so tall. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> your hair looks so tall on camera. And then I also use this Thex uh, pomade or whatever. It's pretty dope. And I always undershoot. So soft. <laughs> what was that movie where... Oh, uh, Zoo... Uh, what was it called? Uh, not Zoolander. The... Uh, Zootopia, remember when the fox is like touching the hair, he's like, it's so fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> You're the fox. Yeah, I'm the fox. No, you were the fox because you were touching my hair. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I tried to do the Italian salute back. Yeah. All right, buddy. Well, you finish up. I'm getting hungry, bro. This is about the time that we normally eat. <sighs> and there's my little good morning from my little cheeky. Hang on. They're about to meet him right now. You've probably already seen him in some of my videos. That's the little guy. Look at the little guy. Sorry, buddy. I got the light right in your face and as well as this big scary camera. Oh, yeah. No. Yep. Yeah, he's concerned for his life, but he's good. He's chilling. Yeah, now, when have we ever gone to Waffle House just for the hell of it? This would be the first time. See, this the last is, time we went to Waffle House. This is the first time you've suggested it. Yeah, the first time I've suggested it, but before we've done it it's always like a like a middle of the night type of thing when you're like you know oh yeah blasted from like a few hours before you know that or well if you're in high school and you have nothing better to do and you go to the only 24 hour place around town yeah i got my seatbelt on okay so we're at waffle house and it was funny because the last time we were here this guy wanted a waffle house hat right yeah <laughs> so we went to one of the one of the guys that worked here and he was like, how much for the hat? And, and, he, and he said basically, oh, I mean, these are only good for employees. I'm like, oh, well, that's a shame. He's like, well, I might have one in my car. And he goes over there, comes back, and he's and he said, like, how does 10 bucks sound? I'm like, deal. Yeah. <laughs> so I just paid 10 bucks for a Waffle House hat. And there's, you, this, there's a little <laughs> waffle stain, like, from the, from yeah. the batter or whatever. And yep. I haven't washed that part. It's used up and everything, so it's raw, authentic. Thank you so much. What was your name? Sean. Sean? Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Can we get you some Ooh. syrup? Oh, you got the pecan waffle. You want jelly? Alright. 
This is great. Right. Thank you so much. Let me know. What happened? That's all good. I mean, he, he, he's not allergic to guns. No, no, that's. Are you yeah, no, that's that's great. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. Let me know when you want to. Yeah, no problem. Huh? Yeah. I make content, so. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, it can be a little weird for some people, but I'm used to it, so. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> it's like being in a fish tank. No? It is. It's a little tiny bubble <laughs> of people. Here's my food. Easy does it. Plain and simple. Right now. Uh, I'm gonna eat this and we'll be back. Come again. <laughs> okay, you, you said you want to travel. But with me. I'm not opposed to it. I feel like for starters you and I already get along really well. Right? Do we? Despite <laughs> despite our differences. I mean, you're really, you're weird, I'm not, you know? It's just kind of like, ching and chang. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Who's the weird one? <laughs> Wait, what's the... Ying, ying and yang. yang. <laughs> ching and chang. That sounds like two last names. <laughs> oh my god. Did you look like the guy that does this with the... <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, that was a win. What would you rate it, buddy? 10 out of fucking 10. <laughs> yeah, honestly, the thing with like Waffle House is it's like, it's good, but you have to be like, you have to accept the Southern <sighs> vibe of eating food. Cause like, it's very homey. It's homey, but it's greasy. Like every, yeah. every time I eat Waffle House, like it's nice, but. I just feel like a potato, like a fried fucking french fry, you know? Bro, I'm a happy potato. You're a happy potato, bro. Oh, yeah. I feel like a fried potato. I don't know. Is just a little greasy. I, I couldn't it do it all the time, bro, because it it's, it's a little greasy, or, bro. Huh? Crinkle cut or, or uh, straight fries? Um... <laughs> straight fries. Wait, this is funny. I have to... I don't fucking get that shit, man. <laughs> okay, so we were saying how um, whenever you pull up next to someone on like a stop or like a red light, most people will just like sit there and just look straight and not acknowledge like who's pulled up next to them. But me and me and Alex were like, like bro, when when we pull up at a stoplight, you we instantly see like who the hell is next to us. But people never like turn their head. Dude, it's even when they're driving too. Which okay, that makes a little bit more sense. While you're driving, you should be paying attention. But like, dude, sometimes it's like their head's not even moving. They're just like this, bro. I'm like, bro. I, I, I don't look, get like. I'll, I'll stare at them sometimes for like a solid like 30 seconds just to see if they'll turn around. Dude, and but I'm not I trying to say just, like people are just shy or. No, no, and I don't want to be like a, a butthole and be like, oh yeah, they're bringing NPCs. It's nothing like that at all. It's just like genuinely, I'm like, dude, are you like a self autonomous or something like that? You're like, <laughs> you're, you're literally just like, like what are they thinking, bro? <laughs> like. Oh, I, I sometimes I it even scares me. I'm like, are they even listening to music? Are they doing anything? Oh my! Kiss. <laughs> that was a love tap, right? There. Yeah, I know. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> All you see is my hair just like move side to side. They have no idea what we were talking about or what happened. Yeah, buddy, don't be hitting no more curves. <laughs> I wasn't hitting a curve. Look, 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 look. That deducted a couple points. I'll admit, but yeah. hey, majority of the time there are people that kiss curves way way worse than me. Yeah, where are we going again? I'm uh, going to my glasses, people. Because my oh. they said my contact's ready, and then I'll ask them about So you're going to be Dr. Professor Ashoni. Dr. <laughs> Do <laughs> Do <laughs> what is that from? SpongeBob, bro. Oh, that's right. Dr. Professor Patrick. Yeah. It was It was first Mr. Patrick. Or, Mr. And then it was first Mr. Patrick. And then it was Professor Mr. Patrick. And then it was Dr. <laughs> Mr. Professor Patrick. <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a whole roller coaster just getting here with you. You've hit how many curbs? One over how many puddles? Hey, bro. Stop throwing me under the bus like that. All right, so that is going to be the end of this vlog slash tutorial. It was a little bit different today, but um, hopefully you enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, anything like that, you want to see something else, let me know in the comments. But I'll see you guys in the next video on Friday.
Adiós.